Hi, this is Nellie Deutsch. I created a Microsoft Teams account as an organization. I called it Integrating Technology. You can see the address right there. And I invited my Gmail account. I created this with one of my Microsoft MSN and invited myself to the organization. I'm going to show you what I can do on Teams as part of the organization. So uh, I had to accept whatever I had written as a policy for team members. I can invite anyone. What's nice about this is that you don't have to have a Microsoft account to be invited. You can be invited in any other way. Now notice here that you can open the application or you can have your desktop. It's up to you. I think that I'm going to go with um, the desktop. Yeah, I guess I'll open the desktop. So here it goes. So notice the process. It doesn't recognize the fact that I have the app already. So it's going to ask this each time, apparently. But just ignore it. Use the web app instead. OK, which I have on anyways. So it's going through. Um, a few checks, I guess, and then it's going to come up. This is Microsoft Teams, an amazing and really, really powerful collaborative tool for um, anyone, I guess. I'm an educator, so I'm using it with my Moodle for Teachers colleagues, students, and teachers. So notice I have added, or not I, I as the admin has added how to install Microsoft here. I have a YouTube video. I have the website here. In other words, um, you can add a lot of apps. Now, this means the members, I gave them permission to also add apps. So as a member of this team, notice uh, the name of the organization is Integrating Technology. I can add other tabs or if you like menus. OK, so I've added a website. You can add a website to have added a YouTube video. Uh, you can add all of these. Some of them are Microsoft and some are not. You may be familiar with some and maybe not with others. I can tell you that I'm not familiar with most most of these, but you can try it out and see what they're like. That's fine there. Okay, so you can learn about Kahoot. The app is already added. <laughs> okay, uh, that means that uh, I had thought of this before. Okay, so uh, let's see what else. Oh, there are also wikis that are kind of nice. I think that's Microsoft Wiki. Go through it, see uh, whatever appeals to you, and feel free to add it. I added Flipgrid, which I really like. And notice it asks me here, uh, it's simple, educators. I can log in as an educator or I can create an account. I believe I have an account. Not sure it's an educator account because when I created Flipgrid, it cost money and I actually complained about it then. And they said, well, we can't afford it. And then Microsoft bought it from them and they made it free. So now they can afford it and I'm happy for them. Okay, so I clicked and added myself. Apparently, I am an educator. It still goes, and um, now that it's free, I'm really happy. That really makes me happy. Education right now is officially for Canvas, but you can find Teams, MS Teams as well, if you just uh, search for it, okay, which is what I've done. That was suggested somewhere when I looked it up. So here is the knowledge base. Notice uh, Microsoft Teams integration. I'm going to click on that. It's kind of, um, I guess, early for this. They haven't really uh, come up with the link for it, but they'll be doing that. So notice this is the integration, Microsoft and Teams. Here it tells you exactly what to do, and they're asking if this is useful. Yes, it is very useful, but I want to actually go in. So let me uh, get back into my account. I seem to have uh, been thrown out of there. And uh, let's go back so we can get started. Okay, so first thing I'm going to do is uh, you can use one of your grids or add a new one. I'll give it a name. I'm going to call it Moodle for Teacher. OK, 
okay and then i'm going to select type which is required so um, educator learning community and then notice uh, create a flip code and this one is available then go on to next add a password this is optional i'm not going to add one and now i'm going to okay so there it is i'm going to copy it and it's going to copy the whole center there it is and now it works and save all right so now i'm ready to connect my flipgrid with microsoft teams let's uh, continue and see what else we have here as i said there are a lot of things so feel free to add i'm trying to get as i said the dashboard the moodle dashboard in there let me go to the very there are so many of them it's absolutely okay so this is the last one quizlet i wonder if i added quizlet i love and so do my students what i like about quizlet unlike kahoot they can create their own quizlet here the link to quizlet set so i can i add a set so let's go to quizlet i'm on quizlet and my class l-o-v-e live online virtual engagement this is one of the students let me copy the link study set all right so let's go back to teams i'm going to paste a quizlet set and then um, hopefully click and there it is i'm going to save it okay so that's how it's done and you'll be able to do the same of course so that we see everything here okay this is in spanish which is great all right so that's uh, what we can do here so this is my wakelet sharing one of these collections so let's um, share there share the collection i'm going to copy that and notice i can also share it directly on teams but since i'm doing it differently i first have to set it up so let me do that now oh notice it's there and everything is working just fine but uh, here I have to search for the channel and I'm right here. So let me just add that. So it goes in there. That should be working now. Okay, so I've added the link of one of the collection. I notice uh, my uh, team is called Moodle for Teachers. There we go. And then I'm going to click on share and that's how it's going to be done. If you'd like to join my integrating technology organization on Microsoft Teams, please apply. You may contact me by email or use the comment box below. And remember, please subscribe to my channel. Thank you and enjoy Teams.